Why? Hello and welcome everybody. It is Pox again, and I'm finally up with the new computer, so you guys let me know some audio levels, because this is going to be fucked. But anyway, I want to go ahead and show you guys the rip of my unfortunate uh, Death's Oath Slayer character that I was showing you guys, the Viper Striker. It's kind of a funny death. Now, before I do anything, I'm just going to let you guys know I'm actually remaking Death's Oath again as the CI Occultist, because I feel like I really had a lot of fun in the build, and I didn't really get enough time to play it. Um, so let me just show you guys this clip because it's absolutely fucking hilarious uh, how my character died. Audio may be a little bit loud, but I just want to show you guys it. So check this out. Whoa! Something was doing some deeps there, boys. Hey, buddy, you want to get? <gasps> no! Oh my dude! What happened to that? <laughs> I actually fucking died. I hit log out. No way, dude! I died on a log out. <laughs> I fucking died on a log out. Feels kappa, man. <laughs> Alright, so let's take a look at that one more Whoa, time. Oh, something was doing some deeps there, boys. So I went into hey, I went in to call this guy yeah. and then noticed that the angry dude was charging. <gasps> so I tried to leap out of the way. I got hit. The interesting thing though is that the character has like 19 to 20k armor. So the actual impact didn't even do that much. It's but but bleed does not care about your <gasps> armor. So as I was running with the character, I hit log out. My fault, I should have like hit a flask and portaled, but you know how we are. We're just used to logging out because that's kind of how the game is designed. Unfortunately, if you see this little stutter right there, uh, I had a latency spike. And because of that latency spike, my character kept walking, uh, which I would like to believe caused the death. Either way, I don't really, it doesn't really matter. Um, but I just thought that was kind of funny because, you know, nothing is ever perfect necessarily. Uh, don't rely on log out to save you. Use your flasks. Um, and then here we have some interesting language that I muttered. No, oh my dude, what happened to that? No, oh my dude, what happened to that? No, oh my dude, what happened to that? <laughs> I actually fucking died. I hit log out. No way, <laughs> dude. I died on a log out. <laughs> but anyway, I, I, I want to go ahead and show you guys uh, the character before I scrap it. I'm just going to show you a run in standard really quick. So let's go ahead and just jump on into the character and put on our overlay. All right, so this is the character that we had. Um, I had an okay amount of fun with it. Personally, I think it's more of like a meme build. I thought it was gonna be a bit stronger, but it's really not that bad. Like I would say you could probably usually do like yellow tier maps, even kind of like red tier maps, but I just wouldn't really recommend it. Um, I think it's better to play maybe like a pure Death's Oath character and maybe not use Edge of Madness and try. Uh, if you guys read the comments, you could try something like with a Breath of the Council offhand uh, and like a shaped weapon in your main hand, but I just, really wanted to see how far I could go with Edge of Madness, and I'm pretty sure you could do majority of the content in the game, if not all the content of the game, it's just Edge of Madness is limited by its own scaling, of course, uh, but just to show you guys, we had damage on full life um, for that specific spot, which is probably why we got fucked, but damage on full life, melee physical, viper strike, multi-strike, bile toxins, I usually swap out damage on full life with um, Ancestral Call, where's my Ancestral Call? Ancestral Call is always kind of chilling here. Um, and then we've got Ancestral Warchief, Damage on Full Life, Maim, Melee Physical. In the Death's Oath, we have Less Duration, Swift Affliction, Arcane Surge, Efficacy, Void Manip. Of course, this would be Conk Effect if we actually had the right colors. Uh, I decided to go with Embalmers for because they give Flat Chaos, Chaos Resistance, Poison Duration. Um, so because it has Vile Toxins, ideally you would probably want to swap your Warchief Totem here, but you don't really have much Poison Chance because you're just using Viper Strike and not really actually Poison Chance. Uh, in here, I've got Vol Grace, Faster Attacks, Fortify, and Leap Slam. And then on my boots, I've got Determination, Enlightened, Grace. Um, nothing really too crazy. Like, this is a pretty good belt, but nothing really too crazy. Um, I didn't even actually have any damage jewels on the character. All I have is, like, Growing Agony and, like, some other jewel here, which is not bad. But when you're scaling Death's Oath, in my opinion, and stuff like this, you really want to spec heavily into your jewels. So I was happy to not really invest that much currency into it before the character ripped. Um, but here we go. Let me just show you guys what I'm running. So with Determination, we go to 11.5. And with Grace, we go to 19k. Uh, here's my tooltip, if that means anything, which is doesn't really make any sense. I'm probably going to die because I have a map here. Where did I roll? I have a primal or a waste pool that's T7. The character's level 76. It's Voln minus max extra fire and it's a legacy map. So let's go do it. Oh, I forgot the little stone golem, bro. That's right. Um, yeah, I have 27% chaos res with a flask up. I'm actually 62%. So let's go ahead and get the character going. I don't know what 
what that was, but that was her. Oh, I'm taking a lot of damage in here. Feels bad. My spirit is spent. The problem, as you can see, is it's it's an okay character. There's like nothing super special about it. Um, it's just pretty much okay. A six link would be a pretty big damage increase, but again, like you're still limited by the scaling of your weapon. Actually, what is uh, what's down over right here? Oh, nothing. What is that? Why is the hurt so bad? Oh yeah, I forgot this is like a fucking bone map, that's right. <laughs> I forgot about that. the boss of this there's a crate there i legitimately don't even know what like what this is am i fighting dodre in sewers or is it like tollman or something like who is in here oh all right boys we're gonna swap ancestral call for damage on full life i don't know what's gonna happen i'm i feel like i'm gonna die i'm scared team team i'm scared i'm scared miss dodre where are you Oh, I do not do a lot of damage to her. That's uh, that's kind of scary. I don't. I feel like here we go. Let's switch this. Maybe I can out sustain her like this. Yeah, with fortify, it's not bad. Okay, I lied. Bonus objective: Bone Crypt, Cemetery, Chateau, Springs, Marshes, Graveyard. I swear, GGG. I'm not hacking. I didn't do that. I don't know why that's there. I really couldn't tell you, but okay. Um, but yeah, that's the character. Just to show you guys a little bit of it. Here's the skill tree. Um, we were going to go ahead and pretty much sock it into our jewels right away. I decided I wasn't going to go with Executioner since we have the 20% call from Slayer. Uh, this is also just with Headsman and Impact. We um, didn't really do too much. I'd recommend picking up Razor's Edge as well. This is really good because this node here is actually 25% increased damage with ailments. And that pretty much summarizes this character. I also think that the guy would be an okay boss killer uh, just because you can get pretty good like physical mitigation since because you're running like a poison and physical character, you don't really have to worry too much about like all the other stuff. Anyway, that's pretty much about it. So I hope you guys had a wonderful time, hope you guys enjoyed yourselves, and I'll see you boys all tomorrow. Take care, everybody.